Okay, I'm in my movie room and some of my plans and changes for this room. I'm giving you these little update videos. Sometimes I call it update videos, sometimes just a video about my room. Once a month, sometimes twice a week. So, because I don't have a lot of space on my channel for one long tour. Or do one long uh, monthly pickup. So I give you these uh, breakdowns. And hopefully you guys like them. Hopefully you're doing some good stuff for your collection. Because I'm trying to pick out the movies that cost around 40 50 bucks now. And some of the Universal Monsters I'll probably get one this year and one next year. Because some of them are costing over 50 bucks. Same with the old horror movie. Try to get a couple more on the Stephen King. I need a Shining. Uh... Fire starter, those I want to get. Maybe uh, Tremors 1. I'll work on those and then a couple for Godzilla. I don't have Godzilla 2000. And hopefully I get a little bit more wood coming up here for my shelving on my CDs plus this cabinet I'm going to change. And fix these two shelves a little bit better. So the wood's going to cost me a bit. So my lunch and dinner is going to be a little bit lower this winter but it's going to work out. Hopefully you have uh, sandwiches, grilled cheese and spaghetti. Be the cheapest lunch, cheapest meal I could get. And just go from there. Hopefully you get a couple snacks. Some uh, ice cream and stuff like that. And I'll be okay for the winter hopefully. And if I have better things up here I'll be more happy. So. I'd rather invest that money into my movie room first before I go thrifting. But I'll try to go thrifting once, maybe twice, before the winter. And i uh, give you a little look around now. So I've been getting a lot of stuff for Shirley Temple, a lot of stuff for James Bond. It's complete. I don't know how many Shirley Temple are out there, but I think I got most of them. Mr. Bean is complete. I'm working on another Mr. Bean uh, set over here. And I keep the good Disney over here. Cinderella, Alice in Wonderland, Ariel, and stuff like that. So I, I don't care about keeping a glass cabinet because they just cost more money. Plus they crack if you put heavier stuff on them. And Trying to get a little bit more for I Love Lucy. Trying to finish off Seinfeld. Still need two more there. Hopefully get a little bit more on Bone. But only see season one. Mostly. So I'm not going to buy the thing on eBay right now. But this year I will try to get um, Deep Space Nine for Star Trek. Last year I bought Voyager. Maybe make one more poster or a promo. We'll see how things go. So I added a poster behind the door here, so there's uh, two over here now, Dracula, Return of the Living Dead, and I could put one more here, maybe Jurassic Park or something like that. Um, but they have to be good prints, not blurry. If they're blurry, then just have to get something better. You know, all the promos come out good. So, but to have a little something on the wall so I could get my CDs going, repair my shelf, get a couple more boards every month, and start on this shelf hopefully around November. Maybe December I could have another shelf here, and next year I might try to change out the cabinet and then build up the two shelves here in the back. Maybe uh, change out this shelf because it's only like one, two, three. I could get probably four or five shelves in here, and that'll give me a little bit more room on my movie storage. Though I do have some space here, but uh, it gets filled up pretty quickly with TV shows. Plus, I want to see what I could get thrifting. I picked up the cart thrifting, so it'll be a lot easier. And it folds up pretty well, so that would be good for the transit for the bus. Because sometimes the bus is overpacked and it's hard to even carry a cart. 
So I sometimes I just take out a little shopping bag. But for like movies and whatever I do want to get, it's almost not enough. So like board games, I'm looking for better board games. So I keep an eye out for old cassettes. And sometimes they price the cassettes up to five bucks too, so I don't know why. I'll pick and choose some more Sega games. Sega Gauntlet will be the expensive one. I do have it for Nintendo, so I'm okay with that. And probably pick and choose a couple more for Atari, plus I want to get a couple more controllers. So all that will happen probably next year. This year I'm just uh, playing catch up with the stuff I do have. And hopefully in a couple years I could get a little bit on going on toys. I like to get some uh, toys going, but for now I just got the vintage and haunted dolls up. So, And I got two aisles to work with. If I need to, I can make three aisles in here. But it's going to be really tight. I, because I want to have back and front. So there's going to be two, two, and two. So that will be really tight. But if I need to do that, I'll do that. Thanks for watching. And this is the whole room, and that's my CD DVD cleaner that I'm currently using. Anytime you clean a CD, it gets uh, very, very thin, and then it's more easier to crack. So I try not to clean it if I don't have to. Uh, oh, I've seen some people cleaning their whole uh, collection, and no point for that if it's uh, not skipping. Because they will get thin on you and it gets too thin and then it'll crack. Um, gotta be careful with those CD cleaners. And this is a shelf I'm trying to finish. So you get at least four more boards. I can put two more in the top. Then next month two more in the bottom and then I'll put the backing on. And then start another one for this one. I'm gonna leave these two shelves for now see next year if I might change them or not because I cannot put anything else on like if I need to put like stuff on top whatever I cannot do that with these shelves so I'll lose that space but these shelves are okay I can see what I have down below so it's not that bad with these ones plus there's a little bit more space so I could easily add another shelf by my Homemade shelves, we'll see how things go. Some things like mash, it won't fit though. So those I'll have to put somewhere else. But a cabinet like this at the donation store is about 50 bucks. Plus you need a car to get it home. So that's why I'm making mine. I don't drive. Thanks for watching. Summer. End of summer update. Look around. A little bit longer video. I'm saving the final season for Supernatural for the winter, so, so I'll have that to watch.